वन केस नंबर टू वन एक्स एड माइनस एक्स इज नेगेटिव वट डज इट मीन इट मीन्स दैट द प्री डोमिनेंट फैक्टर इन दिस केस इज कैपेसिटेंस सो वन एक्स एड माइनस एक्स सी इज नेगेटिव it means that capacitive reactance xc is greater than inductive reactance xl so the phase angle phi is negative and the circuit behaves as कैपेसिटिव ओके दस द सर्किट करेंट इन दिस केस लीड्स द अप्लाइड वोल्टेज वोल्टेज वी बाय एन एंगल फाइव एन it can be calculated by using the previous by using the formula phi is equal to tangent inverse x l minus x c divided by r now in third case case number when x l minus x c is zero what does it mean that x l is equal to x c means it is a purely resistive behavior so when x l minus x c is zero it means that x l minus x c is equal to zero this means that x l is equal to x c thus the phase angle is equal to 0 and the circuit behaves as purely resistive circuit and there is no phase difference between the circuit current i and applied voltage applied voltage v so once you understand the resistive capacitive and inductive ac circuit the series ac circuit exam uh, types such as rc rl or rc series circuit is not a big deal to understand okay so again if you have any confusion regarding a resistive capacitive or inductive ac circuit you may take help from the previous videos i also uploaded okay so this is the these are the three cases in case of rlc series circuit that if the predominant factor is inductive then current is lagging behind the applied voltage by angle phi 
and if the predominant factor is capacitive then current leads the applied voltage by an angle phi and if the predominant factor is resistive then there is no phase difference between voltage and current okay also the most important point is that conclusion so the value of phi the value of phase angle phi will be positive or negative depending upon the predominant vector ie and the two reactants are capacitive reactants so in case of rlc series circuit xl and xc are 180 degree out of phase number two applied voltage V V will lead the current I when XL is greater than XC number 3 applied voltage V will lags the current I when XC is greater than XL okay number four point in case of conclusion voltage drop across resistor R and voltage drop across capacitance C R 180 degree out of phase either or both XL or XC can be greater than XL or XC or both can be greater than impedance Z impedance Z is greater than resistance R except at resonance. In the upcoming videos, I briefly explain, explain, try to explain resonance. Okay, and what is resonance? What is series resonance circuit? okay and point number seven either vl or vc or both can be greater than applied voltage v in case of rlc series is circuit number eight point if VC is greater than VL this increasing frequency
causes phase angle phi to decrease okay so these are the key points that we discuss in today's lecture so I hope you enjoy today's video so like share and subscribe Rector with the YouTube channel and if you have any confusion regarding today's topic feel free and ask your question in the comment section and press the bell icon so that you will get each and every notification of the upcoming videos on time so this is enough for today end of lecture in the next video I discuss impedance triangle in case of RLC series circuit and after that we discuss the resonance what is resonance and resonance in AC circuit and RLC series circuit resonance so stay safe stay at home Allah Hafiz